Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision. Without purpose, there is nothing to be obedient unto. Listen to me. Dr. Miles Munro will say your purpose and assignment is not what you are living for. It's what you can die for. When it has to do with purpose, it takes more than living. You must be willing. The hymn writer says, I'll be a true soldier. I'll die at my post. Nobody will kill you. You will finish your assignment in full. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke untimely death. Amen. Don't fear death. Death has an ear. It is a rider upon one of the four horses in Revelation. The rider upon the pale horse, he said, his name is death. Death is a spirit. You can cast it far from you. It is not a mysterious phenomenon that has, that has unrestrained dominion over you. No, sir. The Bible says, O oh, death, where is your sting? And O oh, grave, where is your victory? For death could not hold him captive, even in the grave. Jesus is Lord. For death will not hold me captive, even in the grave. Jesus. Listen, I want you to have an understanding that until your assignment is done, no spirit, not by witchcraft not by accident not by bloodshed of wicked men and terrorists now don't feel bad about those who may have gone before you don't worry thank god they died in christ but since you are now alive somebody say i will finish strong let the devil hear you say i will finish strong by this profession of faith i cause every manifestation of untimely death as a pattern if there is anyone here your family members just seem to be dying anyhow and you are asking who is the next person i say it prophetically the last death will be the last yeah. don't drive out in the morning wondering will i return did you not read what the psalmist said that i slept and i waked for the lord sustained me listen if there was anybody who should die in the Bible, a lesson to refuse to die is Job. A man who had all the boils and the plagues. I'm not a medical doctor, but I know there is no record of Job going to the hospital. In that situation, he should die. He refused. Mm. I know my Redeemer liveth, he said. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. And at the end of his life, he was healthy enough to have double of children again. Say, I refuse to die. Refuse to die. This is not out of fear. No. In Christ, even when he said to be absent in the body, is to be present with the Lord. But Paul said that I remain is expedient for you. There are lands to conquer. There are several things to do. Are we together? Yes. Several lands to conquer. Don't, don't, don't glorify death in a point to a point that you make it look as if it can just take you anyhow. No, that's not what happens to believers. The Bible calls transition for the believer sleep. And it says, they that sleep, sleep at night. When you sleep in the daytime, it's called siesta. It's a short nap to rise up. They kill Paul, he said, I've not finished. They kill him again, he said, I've not finished. When he finished, he said, I've finished. Even Jesus said it is finished. Everybody saying it is finished. And then they leave. For as long as you have not said it is finished, it is not over. Are we together? The message of purpose. In Matthew chapter 5 from verse 13 to 16, Jesus was speaking about the, about the believer in Christ. Here's what he calls us. With respect to purpose, he says we are salt he said we are light go to verse 16 for sake of time 
in verse 16 he says to let your light so shine before men these are the teachings that now relate to purpose let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven matthew 28 please give us from verse 18 to 20. we call this the great commission here's what jesus said to do he spake unto them saying all power the word power there is exousia authority in is given to me in heaven and in earth 19. go ye therefore does that look like a mandate and teach all nations this synoptic account does not just say preach the gospel as mark presented his own he said take time and teach how many nations so don't ask me what i'm doing in uk don't ask me what i'm doing in the u.s don't ask me what i'm doing in canada once he gives us the matching order we have a scripture that backs us if he says teach all nations it means he's opened the door for the nations baptizing them in the name of the father of the son and of the holy spirit the last verse he said teaching them to observe all the things whatsoever i have commanded you and lo while you are on this business know that i am with you all way even to the ends of the world hallelujah purpose very very important Jesus was teaching us how to pray and in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 10 he said thy kingdom come and he said thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven Jesus is interested in the earth listen to me purpose and destiny is very important it's not just enough to be anointed it's not just enough to be warded you must be purpose driven and your purpose i have taught you here endlessly and i will repeat myself again your purpose represents your contribution first to kingdom advancement and then to societal transformation every purpose in christ has a twofold approach it benefits the program of god and it benefits the nation wherein you are domiciled there is no man that has been used by god that was a cause to his society that is why I dare to say that the church is not a nuisance. The true church is not a nuisance, not to Nigeria, not to any nation. We are active contributors of nation building by number one, connecting people to faith, which becomes the principle that guides their moral conduct, etc. Number two, giving them a superior orientation, albeit driven from scripture that helps them to make quality decisions that eventually translate to advancement, development, and nation building. The church is not a curse. The true church is not a curse. You shut down the church in any nation, if that church is truly light, that nation should experience moral decadence and bankruptcy to a point that the government says, no, 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 no. We have seen your value. You are light, you are salt. Are we together? That means because Koinonia is here in Abuja, in Nigeria, and across the globe, connecting by way of covenant, every nation where we are represented, not just physically, but even if there is one person who is connected to this ministry anywhere across the globe, your territory should see Jesus in your life. Are we together? Praying in the Holy Ghost and jumping and becoming a nuisance to society is, is, is not, um, you are not representing the gospel properly. Hallelujah. The message of purpose. Let me finish up. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.